So Arbiter asks, Hi, what is better in your opinion, IB or Blood and Glory? Are you serious? Joshua Wolf asks, What environment do you want in Infinity Blade 3? Um, I'd really like some mountains, maybe some snow, snowy mountains. That sounds really, really interesting. Um, maybe some lava, I don't know. Uh, just some kind of exotic, or not really exotic, but just some environment that we haven't really seen before. Because, I mean, we've been sort of in the mountains in both games, but we've never really been on top of a mountain, like, maybe fighting the worker in secrets on the top of a mountain. That'd be really, really cool. Mr. Awesome 5454 says, If you could make any food a weapon, what food would it be? Uh, definitely bacon. Brian Tran says, Will Rager propose marriage to Cyrus? What? Mr. Awesome5454 says, Do you even lift? Nah, bruh, I drift. Vital Chord one asks, What is your favorite gym and why? Uh, Titan Brick Plus 2. Uh, reason, um, a lot of people say that Periol would be the best gym just because it makes the game really easy, but honestly, in my opinion, it makes it too easy, and at the same time, it slows down your fights because if you have a Titan Brick Plus 2, your fights are going to go a lot faster than if you had a Periol because you're going to be getting dodge breaks, which... Um, with a Titan Break Plus 2 will be much longer than just a Parry Break that you'd be getting with a Parry All. Um, now you could use those gems in tandem, but since you'd be using a Parry All, you'd be parrying most attacks and probably getting more Parry Breaks. So I think the Titan Break Plus 2 is my favorite gem, and uh, that's the reason. I think it makes fights go faster, and it's like, it's this, it's the best gem for a skilled player, while the Parry All would be the best gem for a, a, a new player or something like that. Uh, Joshua Wolf asks, in Infinity Blade 3, what bosses do you want? And the, do, should they make the bosses uh, like the IB2 bosses or the IB1 bosses? Um, I personally prefer the IB1 bosses. I think they're tougher uh, just in general. Um, the IB2 bosses were really not that tough. MX Goliath is a piece of cake. Archivist is the same. Stone Demon, I guess, would be a little tougher than those two. But he's very simple as well. Uh, Rith, I mean, he has a lot of health, but his moves are complete crap. Uh, God King, he's probably the hardest boss. Um, honestly, I think that the normal enemies are harder than some of the bosses. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I think they should make the bosses like Infinity Blade 1 just really difficult. Um, I really hope they return to a more difficult, uh, game in Infinity Blade 3. Uh, Infinity Blade player asks what character do you want to play in Infinity Blade 3? Um, definitely, I don't really want to play as Issa. I'd rather play as Cyrus or Osar or something. Maybe even the God King, that could be really cool. Mr. Awesome 5454 asks, what do you hope for in Infinity Blade 3? A uh, slightly bigger game, uh, much better story than Infinity Blade 2. Infinity Blade 1's story was really great, but Infinity Blade 2, I don't know, just kind of lost the magic for me. Still a great story, but I hope they return to the awesomeness of Infinity Blade 1's story. Um, I also want more difficult enemies. Infinity Blade 2 is too easy, in my opinion. And uh, I do want multiplayer back. That would be really, really cool. Uh, a lot of the aspects from Infinity Blade 1 are what I want back uh, in Infinity Blade 3. Joshua Wolf asks, would you like weapon armor customization in Infinity Blade 3? Uh, yeah, that'd be really cool, actually. That sounds like a really good idea. Uh, that'd be really nice. Uh, that's actually a really good idea. Um, unless it takes them forever to program or something. Um, would you like settings like e normal, easy, hard? Yeah, that'd be really cool. Uh, what is your favorite character in IB? Osar. And what is the boss that gives you the most trouble? Hmm, if we're talking from Infinity Blade 2, probably the God King, although none of the bosses really give me any trouble. Um, normal enemies would have to be the Wood Jester in Infinity Blade 2. Now, Infinity Blade 1, uh, probably the God King. Um, so, yeah, those are just, that's just my toughest bosses. Mr. Awesome5454 asks, what city and state do you live in? Atlanta, Georgia. Oliver Lee asks, question one, if Osar's personality breaks out of Cyrus, do you think he will join the Worker of Secrets? Now, I was kind of confused by the ending, because if you think about it, Cyrus is trying to do the same thing as the Workers. He's trying to destroy the Deathless, so I didn't really know why he got locked down there. Uh, maybe the Worker has some kind of vendetta, since apparently Osar locked him down there in the first place. I don't know. Um, but it seemed like they were on the same mission, so... Uh, Osar, I'm not really sure. I guess he was just trying to, trying to destroy the Deathless before he wiped his memory or got his memory wiped. Um, so I guess he might join. I don't know. But I think that Cyrus would join now uh, if the worker gave him a chance. I don't really know. Oliver Lee asks, what's your favorite dual weapon? Can't be the lightsaber. Um, if we're not going with lightsaber, it'd probably be the poison scythe. I think that thing is really cool. Um... I mean, if you don't have it in Infinity Blade 2 because it's a locked item, you can go check it out in Infinity Blade 1 uh, as a light weapon. It's really, really cool. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave more questions below if um, if I didn't answer yours that you left before. Just add, uh, leave it below and make, and make sure to tell me that I missed yours last time, and I'll make that one a priority. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to click the like button below. Um, and, yeah, make sure to subscribe for more awesome iOS content, uh, gaming content. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I'm Silver's Beast, and I'm out.